Okay, here's a quick overview. I'm demonstrating on the Mac version, which you can install if you have a Mac. Um, you buy it once and it works on Mac or iOS um, as many times as you want. So when you get it to begin with, I recommend going through these uh, getting started videos. So you tap on the preset and you'll get a video that you can watch and it will tell you the basics of how to use the app. Um, so for example, you can watch a video about metronome features or how to create a preset or entering rhythms, entering sounds. There's lots of videos in here that will give you the basics. Um, down here, there's jazz swing, for example. Um, this is showing how you can use the swing fader for variable swing. Let me just clear this second sequencer. And if I play this and bring the hi-hat volume down some, you'll see you have a swing fader. And you can change the swing here. You've got a big fader where you can make more subtle adjustments. Um, you've got a thing for playing over the bar line. This is very much a drummer related thing. So here you'll see we've got a hi-hat pattern that's grouping to five. If we go and look at this pattern, what I've entered rhythmically is just a bar of 16th notes. On this line down here, I've entered a kick snare groove with the snare on the two and four backbeat. And on this line, I've simply entered right, rest, right, rest, rest, using the rest button here. And when you enter a rest under a note like this, no sound will be played. So we're going to have a five beat pattern, right, right, left, left, right, right, rest, rest, right, right, rest, rest. And you can see that Polynomial is going to loop this over this whole pattern here. And what it does is goes over the bar line. So if we play this, you can see that sticking changes. Let me make the pulse again. That right five note sticking changes on each. So that's the kind of thing drummers like to do a lot. And um, you have shift and randomize. Um, and with this, let's see what this is set to. You can go to shift and randomize. And this is set to randomize the sounds, but you can choose to, for example, shift the sounds. You can see I'm shifting those notes and I'm shifting the hi-hat and the snare. I could choose just to shift the hi-hat. So you can use this for David Garibaldi type patterns where you have something that shifts through and you can randomize. Down here I've got a melody um, which I can randomize and that changes the order and um, rhythm of those notes so and this if you hit the lock button you can do it here and this two is saying it will play this through twice and then it will randomize them automatically and you could do that with bass drums for example so if I go and edit this pattern if I delete the melody and just put in a bunch of kicks and a bunch of rests like this. Now we can generate a random exercise with different kick arrangements. And we'll repeat and then so if I stop here you can use the arrows to displace whoops you can displace that kick rhythm or you can use the dice to give yourself a different exercise. So that's a fun thing for drummers. Um, here's an auto displaced click example. One, 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 one. E, 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 e. And, and, and. So that's stepping the accents through and the accent fader in Polynome that note where the accent is. If this fader is all the way up, you will only hear the accented note. If it's all the way down, you will hear all notes at the same volume. So with the fader down, that seems like there's a bug in there. So you have that. Um, 
and you have conical in here so if your students are into conical when you go into edit the pattern and you choose to enter the sounds you've got sound buttons here you've got a keyboard and you've got conical so you can enter conical rhythms and things in here and chains so two beat chains three beat chains four beat chains and you can save different chains for quickly entering them um, and then there's some um, grooves built in when you have grooves like this you can use the mixer to change the volume of the different parts so we can bring the hi-hat level down bring this now out. Now we just have the ghost notes in there. Or we can bring the ghost notes out. And you could add some swing to this. And then here we've got the Billy Jean bass line and keyboard and drums. And I've got the Rosanna groove. And you can use the sounds. Here I can go to the sound picker. You can specify different kicks for the kick or hi hats for the R for the L or whatever you want you've got a lot of sounds in here or you can go to sound sets and there's an 808 kit or a 909 kit or a John Bonham kit and these are using toms on that uh, ghost note but you can change that to be a snare And you can save your own sound sets. If I save this, it would let me save this particular kit as a sound set. So it's very quick to load up different uh, sounds like that. Um, so there's a lot more presets in here. We've got the What About Me vamp. And then you can do things like if I load, create a new preset here. Uh, counting example and I go in here clear the rhythm so you can enter here you've got divisions of a whole note divisions of a half note divisions of a quarter note of an eighth note and of a sixteenth note so let's say we go to a quarter note and I put in a whole bar of sixteenths you can edit these to remove some of the notes like so and if you like and you want to know how this should be counted you can click on it and do auto counting and that will put in a count of this rhythm and uh, you can have auto counting of time signatures so if I was to just choose a time signature here like 6-8 That will give me a click in 6-8. And you can use the metronome faders here in this mixer, which is a very useful thing. You can filter on, you can go to master and show the master faders or unclick this, see all the faders. So let's go to metronome and set sounds and go to sound sets and choose voice count. And this will count bars for you. One. So notice that it's counting a different number at the start of every bar. You can change that by bringing the bar fader down and then it will just count straight bars. And you can very quickly set any time signature you want in here. Let's do seven eight. 
one. Now you have to put the one and the and faders up to get the counting in eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that can be useful. So this is all in presets. You can create presets that do almost anything you want. And then you have playlists. So you can go to playlist manager and you'll find some examples in here. For example, a band set list. It's great for band set lists. This one has a count in and then uh, the groove for one rep and then it stops. One, two, three, four. So that just lets you know how the groove goes. And this one uh, is a count in for man eater. One, two, three, four. And then it stops. Um, you can change this so it would play a loop of the click if you wanted or have just a click instead of the actual um, groove for the song. You can print set lists by clicking on the set list name and going to PDF of playlist. Uh, and it will show you a PDF that you can print. You can also in playlists create etudes. This one is a snare piece and each bar is a new item. So if I go to the top, let's make this full screen. So you can program in, you know, complex snare pieces like that. There's lots of things you can do in, in playlists. Um, and then there's a goals feature where you can set goals to play. Here I've got 10,000 hours by Friday 30th of June 2028. And if that was my goal, I would have to do four hours and 37 minutes of practice today on this preset in order to reach that. And you can just click on a preset and goals and it will load it up for you. And then you can play and you can go back into the goals menu and see how much time you've done on that. You can set lots of different goals in there. And you can view a practice log of everything you've worked on. Let's go to the practice log for this. For example, you can just click on the little bar chart. Whoops. Click on the bar chart. You'll see the practice log. So I've only ever played 18 seconds and 9 seconds of this particular groove. But you can view the practice log for everything. So in this particular version of my app, I've um, totaled seven minutes of practice over 125 days, but I don't, I only use this for demo purposes, but you can see everything you've worked on for how long, at what tempos, you see your maximum tempo, you can see the streak of how many days in a row you've practiced, you can generate practice reports, you can view charts, so see bar charts of which presets you've spent the most time on, which days you've practiced, which playlists you've practiced, which tempos you've worked on, lots of stuff in the practice log. Um, so that's a, a quick overview. There's lots of things you can do. It's really down to your creativity, um, but you can use playlists, for example, to create practice routines for you. And um, you can build gap clicks. You can build musical clicks with um, automatic voice cues that tell you when the chorus is coming up or the verse is coming up. Um, here I have the Vic Firth 40 Essential Rudiments. So you can go and check out all these different rudiments. And for example, if you're working on a parallel like this, and you want to hear just the right hand part, you can mute the left hand part in the mixer. Like that. Um, you can also add a stroke guide. So if you want to know downstrokes, upstrokes, etc., you can click in Metronome 2, click on these three dots, and add a stroke guide, and this will tell you um, where to play down, tap, upstrokes. Down, tap, tap, up, tap, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, tap, down, tap, tap, up, tap, tap. So here you have the right hand strokes on the top, down, tap, 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 up and the left hand strokes on the bottom, tap, up, down, tap, tap, tap. And you can change the volume of this so you only hear the right hand guide. Down, tap, 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 up, down, tap, 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 up. Or just the left hand part. Tap, up, down, tap, 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 up, down, tap, tap, tap. 
So lots and lots of things like that. And like I say, I'm only covering the basics. There's so much you can do with this. Um, you can get a free public library account and you can go to the public library here and download things like, you won't see it because it's in the browser in the background, but you can download the entire stick control book or the Gadiments book or lots of presets and practice routines created by other polynome users. Um, you can share things to the library. If you create something, you can share it to your students. Uh, you can very quickly create polyrhythms. So say you wanted the polyrhythm of six against seven, you can create that. One, two, three, four, five, click. One, two. And you have uh, different visualizations. I can turn up this big numbers fader. One, two, three, four, five, click. Or I can turn up the rates fader, which will show me the, the polyrhythm. One, two, three, four, five, click. And One, you have different modes two, for the rates three, fader. Four, five, click. One, two, three, four, five, click. One, two. So that's it. That's 16 minutes of quickly running through the features. But if you go to um, Polynome website, polynome.net, you'll find you links to the YouTube channel and the Instagram channel where there's lots of videos and examples and all sorts of things. Um, so yeah, it's a very powerful app that you can do a lot with and I hope you'll find it useful.